uh, a little bit of what I know about you. You work with C-suite specifically, leadership uh, positions to help them understand, build that awareness, learn about equity mm -hmm. and the importance of equity and inclusion yes. in that effort of change and preparing for the future workforce, right? Yes. How do you do that in the COVID time? <laughs> yeah, that's been difficult too. I did our first workshop uh, a couple of days ago with a client. It was face-to-face -face, uh, at a conference center and we had the appropriate social distancing and all of that. And it felt good to be back in front of people. Uh, during the COVID uh, time, I've had to do all these Zoom conferences, so trying to get really comfortable with the Zoom technology. And it can work very effectively if you've already had relationships with people. If you're trying to establish a relationship, it's a little bit more difficult and challenging to do that. And so as a result, we've been writing a lot. Uh, we've got a book that's going to be coming out probably sometime early next year. So we shifted into that mode. Uh, and, and so we've just been working with clients through the Zoom and doing some writing. And can't wait to get back out here because the phone is ringing literally uh, every day with companies saying, what do we do, particularly after the George Floyd murder? Uh, I think there's been a wake up call in, in not only America, but the world to say, ooh, this is a real serious issue. We haven't been paying attention. We've been focused elsewhere. But that's how I've been dealing with uh, the environment of, of COVID is through Zoom and now with uh, some very measured and careful uh, orchestrated workshops, uh, meeting off-site, going to areas that have the space and room to make sure that it's safe and doing the, the appropriate protocols, the temperatures and the masks and the wiping of the hands and that sort of thing.